Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Um, sure, I'm back also. Um, now we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be finding the domain and range of of cosine to the power 2 of x. Okay. But of course, I'm going to use the cosine just like I did with a sine, you know, to make it easier to understand. So, uh, already drawn, that's what we did in the past, uh, the previous video. Already drawn out the, uh, the cosine. And we had the, the domain was R, which was R, and the range, which was minus one. I mean, which T is minus one and one between minus one and one here and there. We can also write it like this it is minus one to zero and zero to one, with zero included in both sides. If I just make it separately in, a, in an interval. Now, what we're going to do is that we're going to you know, find the domain of a cosine to the power of two of x. And its range, okay. Uh, first of all, uh, we would need to know to say that um, the domain, I mean, the, the the period in this function start, I mean, it could have been start somewhere there, you know. But if you start here at minus pi to, to over, over 2, a period starts here and goes that way on to 3 pi over 2, which is equal to 2 pi, because if you subtract minus 2 pi over 2 from... 3 pi over 2, you will still have 2 pi. It is also the same period as what we did before, okay, with the sign. Um, now, uh, this function is going to be, like we did with the sign function, it's going to be describing in a period, until here, 2 cosine, just like we did before, okay? Remember we said in the sign function that the cosine to the power 2 could also be written like a cosine of x, Time the cosine of x. All right, and these both are in the positive side of the cosine. Okay, it means that we'll be describing we have a two positive cosine. We'll be describing two, you know, cosine functions from here to there in one period. Or what? What we can also do, which is actually easier, so we can add another value, the cosine to the power of two, on our table of values, right? And try to find that value we had a cosine equal to one so if you put it we squared it we're gonna have one and we square zero we have in zero we square minus one we're gonna have one we square zero we're gonna have zero we square one we're gonna have c1 c instead of one and zero gives us zero and minus one gives us one so as you can see all the value of the cosine to the power two of x are positive okay so it means that all y value of cosine to the power two will be positive so there won't be any value or mean no value under this line this x-axis so let us just represent it on a on an xy coordinate so we're having uh when x equal to zero we're having we're having one this is right here okay when um x equals to what we got here okay minus minus pi divided by 2 but the pi pi over 2 is here we're having 0 that's a value right here okay and when we have x equal to pi we're having not minus 1 this time but 1 the value is going to be here all right and when we have um, x equal to I mean 3 pi over 2 we're going to have 0 here right here and x equal to 2 pi, we're still having 1 there. And on this side, a minus 2, minus pi over 2 could be 0. And minus pi will be 1. This value is going to be right here. So as you can see, we're having air, all value of y are going to be positive. And this is actually the the cosine to the power 2 of, of x so we can just draw it now of course by connecting the dot right here so we have in here the functions coming from there okay from here It's not going to be that perfect one, but uh, uh, okay, this way, oops, I mean, all right, that, that, 
okay and from here and again and here up to there Okay, and then we can join these two right here. Okay, this is actually our cosine to the power of of two of x. So as you can see, we're having only positive y value. That's why we will say right here that the um, the range of this function is only situated between zero and one, and zero is included, right? So we will say it is. Um, zero is included, sorry. So we will say we have a range between zero and one. Okay, and the domain, of course, is the same domain because the function is covering, you know, the whole um, uh, x axis. I mean, if you draw on it like, uh, you know, taking it back to minus something, uh, 7 pi over 2 or 11 pi over 2, you'll be having the same thing. So this is going to be here r. And this is also equal to uh, plus infinity. And this is how you can find the range, uh, the domain of the cosine to the power two of a function. Remember, uh, really the, uh, the 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 cosine function really helps because if you have a table of values, of course, all you need to do is to you know to square all this value right here, and then you get the value of cosine to the power two right so thank you for watching again guys um until next time bye bye